Um, it's called the Four Corner, um, uh, well known within the SEAL community that Chris Kyle, you know, was basically, it was on top of a, you know, a mount, on top of a house and he starts shooting. The other gunners that were watching all the other four corners, you know, because they were out there by themselves, just like, okay, let me get over there and get some because, you know, you need, you're a sniper, you need to kind of focus on. And soon as, you know, Chris Kyle moves to the other corner, he starts shooting over there. Find out that Jocko was warned before those deaths, and he said, said that, the, you know, this senior SEAL operator from Dev Group went to him and said, hey, they know who you are now. You've been going out so much and you've been creating so much havoc and you've you've you know, you've made more enemies than you've uh, than you've taken off and you're killing innocent people that they're setting up on you. They know who you are now. And every time you guys leave, they're trying to figure out how to get you. And that's when these guys end up dying. And what Mark or what um, Jocko tells this senior you know, guy goes, you know, I'm taking it to the enemy. I'll do what I want. Now, did he warn his guys? Probably not. Did he take did he go out there with his guys? Very seldom. And so he, he put these guys out there in this situation that they know you're coming. They know where you're at and you're out there in a small number. And he's also made such bad friends with the coalition forces, U.S. forces there that they were they didn't probably want to support him anyway because they're just getting him, you know, their own guys killed. So they, they went off the reservation. They were basically there was multiple stories where um, it's called the four corner. Um, uh, well known within the SEAL community that Chris Kyle, you know, was basically it was on top of a, you know, a mount on top of a house and he starts shooting. The other gunners that were watching all the other four corners, you know, because they were out there by themselves, just like, OK, let me get over there and get some because, you know, you need you're a sniper. You need to kind of focus on. And soon as, you know, Chris Kyle moves to the other corner, he starts shooting over there. The guy that basically relieved them at that corner where he was shooting couldn't find any uh, legitimate targets. He just left the corner where Chris Kyle just went to. Chris Kyle starts shooting over there. So another just like, well, let me go there and see what, you know, what Chris no And Chris moved to all four corners, taking shots and shooting innocent people. And there was no legitimate, you know, targets. It was another uh, time when Chris Kyle bragged about shooting, shooting a guy who was holding a kid. I don't know if it was a little girl or a little guy, but shot through the kid to kill the guy. I mean, this guy is a psychopath and Jocko let him loose and Jocko has no empathy uh, and didn't care about his own guys. So this is what, you know, kind of happened on the ground. And, um, and I don't, I don't think the gold star families know that how Jocko set their sons up pretty much to die. And the only ones that, you know, that, um, that stand up for Jocko or basically back his story is guys that are on his payroll or guys that are basically somehow benefited. And there's a lot of strange deaths around the guys that came back. So it's, you know, that's another thing, another topic, but I need you guys in, you know, that's my fellow Americans out there. You don't need to put this guy up on a pedestal and you need to start asking these questions. And, and, um, so I, I've gone on for a little bit, Jay. You got any questions on what I've covered so far?